Yo, 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 what is going on out there in the comic planet called Comic City? I don't even know what that means, but what are you doing, Cracker Layton out here reading all these comic books this week? Because there's so much special comic books out there this week. Even though I only had two in my pool box. But this is the time of the year where all the good comic books come out. Because this is horror season for most people, even though it's horror season for me year-round. But I'm thankful for all the comics and the comic book stores coming out with horror books. That way I got something to read all year. And right now I'm not hurting for things to read. But anyway, let's take a magic comic ride and go down comic book lane. And let's turn down Slab Avenue and let's look at some comic books. Today we're going to do... Full Moon Covers. Yeah, we ain't had no theme in a while. Let's look at Full Moon Covers. And let's look at what I got at the comic shop this week. And let's boogie, boogie, boogie to the comics. Drop, drop, drop. Yeah, I don't even know what that means either, but we're rolling with it. Let's look at what I got picked up first from the LCS this week. <sighs> a stupid name, a stupid title that I'm going to have to say a lot because the books are amazing. It's written by Colin Bunn. I love some Shock Shop, even though it's a tongue twister, baby. That's all it is. And we picked up Shock Shop number two this week. Really like Shock Shop number one. I liked it a lot this month or last month or however you want to look at it. But Shock Shop one, uh, Colin Bunn. It's one of these flip books where it's got a story here and a story here. Two separate stories going on at the same time so if you want to get something good get some shock shop and i'm really loving it i'm loving creep show i'm loving boogeyman i'm loving sergeant rock versus army of the dead i'm loving predator what can i tell you man this is the time of the year also whew, best thing i read in 2020 or 2021 was geiger and now we got junkyard joe baby i can't wait to read this i haven't read this yet I'm excited about it. Uh, I know it's going to be good. You know, it's written by Jeff Johns. How can it not be good? So, this is Junkyard Joe number one. I got the cover I wanted. Instant classic if it's anything like Geiger, which I don't see no reason why it won't be. And then I picked this up just because of a cover by. I used to collect Joker covers, and I saw this cover, and I fell in love with it. Uh, I actually read this book this week. And uh, I, was, I was amazingly thrilled with how good and violent it was. Every page was violent. There was people dying everywhere. Loved everything about it except for the last page. Last page didn't make a bit of sense. But uh, kind of let me down. But we're going to be hanging on and picking up number two. And just going along that magic comic ride and seeing where it goes. Love this cover. Great book. Except for the last page. And I went to the back issues and found two cool books. I love Batman 12 Centers, and I love this one. Great book, great condition. Picked it up for a whopping $10 in the back bend section. It is a flawless, and it has got a buzzard on it, or a vulture, whatever you want to call it, thing, and a beach ball. And any, any book you get with a buzzard and a beach ball on it, how can it be bad, baby? It can't be. I love buzzards and beach balls. And you know what else? Some people love elephant covers. So here is another one. Here's Detective Comics number uh, 333. It's almost evil. It's 333. It's got a big purple elephant. And this right here is ammo abuse, Robin. You can't pop a damn elephant on the head with a stick. That's not going to help his chances any. That's just going to piss off this damn red-eyed purple elephant and make him squeeze a little harder. Batman's going to have the bat shits. So... Good job there, Robin. And that is all I picked up this week at my LCS. A slow week until next week when a bunch of good titles come out. But I decided to pull some uh, full moon covers because we ain't had a theme in a while. And Halloween's around the corner. Why ain't we did some full moon covers? I pulled five rolls and the ten first slabs I came to. So let's see what I came to. First, we got this, Adventures in the Terror. They're coming for you, Barbara. And as you can see, we got some zombies coming out of the ground. We got a full moon in the background. And we got adventures in the terror. And why are these two people in the graveyard in their Christmas clothes? I don't know. But I guess that's the way people dressed in the 50s. But this is a number 30 of adventures in the terror. 
Love that cover. I love that cover. And then uh, we got this ugly werewolf getting shot in the ribs by the popo. And that's just going to piss off a werewolf. And we got a coyote over here howling. I guess that's supposed to be a wolf, but I'm an expert on canines, and that's a coyote. And uh, we got a coyote over here hollering. We got a bat that could turn into Dracula, or it could just be a bat in the graveyard. I don't know. But this is the preppiest werewolf I've ever seen. He's got a shirt tucked in and everything. So he might be like a vacuum cleaner salesman for all you old people that remember what vacuum cleaner salesmen are. And then we got a Strange Mysteries number 10. The beautiful girl, she's faded. She said, oh, shit, I'm out. Carry me, Chuck. Chuck's like, we got to go. High tempo, ready to roll up tempo in my uh my my little triumph over here. But the only thing between you, Barbara, and the triumph is old Dr. Devil here. Dr. Devil ain't no joke. Dr. Devil says, come on up to my house. We'll get her some ice water. And Chuck says, no thanks. I think we'll go this way. Don't need no ice water. She's fine. She just faints sometimes. And then we got uh, Tales from the Crypt number 39. Psychotic guy with ice pick. If you ever see anybody with an ice pick out in the graveyard, why do you need an ice pick in the graveyard? Things ain't going to go well. So that's why all these boys, including little Chunky, they better get to running. Because if you see somebody at night in the graveyard with an ice pick, I don't know what he's up to, but it can't be good. And my last of the raw books, Tales from the Crypt number 46. My favorite cover of all Tales from the Crypt. This is the last issue. We got this beautiful werewolf over here. We got Jimmy over here doing some coon hunting. And uh, he don't know, but he's the one being hunted. He's hunting for coons. He's hunting for men. So here we go, brother. It's on like neck bone when the werewolf's in the zone. He better roll up tempo with the pinto because he's got the old full moon fever. I had full moon fever one night. That's how I had my second kid. Anyway, back to the books. Now we got 10, 10 slabs. So the first one is Phantom Witch Doctor, number one from uh, 1952. And as you see, we got some uh, full moon. We got this beautiful redhead that don't like to wear clothes. That's clothes she does wear. You can see through. My kind of lady. Anyway, you got this redhead. You got the good girl art. You got the voodoo guy with the skulls in his eyes. Can you see the skulls in his eyes? He's got skulls around his neck. And uh, it's just got everything you want in a classic cover. That is uh, Phantom, Phantom Witch Doctor number one. Next, we got this magazine is haunted, number four. We got this zombie holding this girl right here. Red dress in distress. He's holding her hostage because he's afraid of this dude. Looks like the end of the Jones with fire. Shut your mouth. Don't say a word. He'll burn us both. I don't know if that's what's going on, but house don't look too bad. Looks like they live in a nice house in a gated community. I don't know how a zombie got in there, but he did. It's number four. This magazine's haunted. Here's a Beware of Terror Tales, number one. Big full moon, surrounded by ghouls, devils, white cover, Beware of Terror Tales, and a 6.0. This is number one from 1952. This one here is really ugly. I don't know. Some of them are drawn better than others. This is a cool cover. I like floating head covers. I like multiple designs of zombies and monsters. Here's Unseen Six, and this is just a normal day in my backyard. Here we are in the bayou. Old Junior Johnson here wrecked his car in the swamp. Here comes some good old boys to help him out. You got Staley Ray, you got William Thomas Connell, you got Jay, and you got J-Rob. They all coming to help. They all brothers, they all got on their overalls, they've been drinking some moonshine, and uh, they're gonna help this boy out. He don't like he wants any help. He looks scared to death. And I think I would be too, because this one's called Bayou Vengeance. This is unseen number six and a 2.0 from uh, 9 of 52. So I think that's September. Next is a 6.5 of a Mystery Tales 49. 
And as you see, here's a full moon. This guy here, Bobby B, was on the creek bank with his girl Susie. They probably ate some fish, hanging out, eating some shrimp. He was thinking he's going to get lucky under a full moon. But when you throw shrimps into the polluted water, that is the recipe for the shrimp monster to come out. This dude here don't like shrimp being thrown in his water. And as you see, he's like, come here. Come here, Bobby B. Bobby B don't look interested in coming to see what old shrimpy wants. I mean, he's already got the legs split. He's like, which way do I run? Back there, she ready to go too. They don't know what's going on. This is a full moon cover. And the best part about this is it's postcode. This one here is from 57, and it's postcode. Postcode means it's made after, you know, they came up with this stupid stamp. Proved by Comics Code Authority. So, a lot of people don't collect books. There's cool covers out there. It could be half the price of pre-code if you just buy some postcode. I love this cover. You can't see this guy's face, and that's what makes you scary about it. You got to use your imagination a little bit. So, this is Mystery Tales number 49. By the light of the moon. By the light of the moon. Oh, baby, saw the fire in your eyes. All right, next we got, uh, we got Crim. What the hell? I can't hear you. Crim. It ain't Crim. It's Crime Suspension Stories, number 25. And this is from 1154. And this is where Betty decided to go outside at night, walking down some back alleys in New Orleans, shaking it in her tight hip dress. And look the way she carries her money bag, just twirling around her finger like she's rich. But she don't know it, but old Bobby Tompkins right here has got his uh, butcher knife out, and he ain't making a lot of money at the fish shop. And you know what he likes? He likes thunder thighs, and he loves money. So this might be a way for him to pay his bills, you know what I'm saying? So this is a cool cover, classic cover, some crime suspense stories, number 25. Love this cover. Love it. It's a full moon. See it right there? Yes, sir. Bobby Tompkins. Next, we got ah, classic Shock and Spence Stories number six. Full moon cover. The place you don't want to be. In the middle of a graveyard with a Ku Klux Klan and a damn whip. I say she's going to get it. So, it's classic cover. Anytime you see Shock and Spence Stories uh remakes or any kind of hardback book this is usually the cover they use because it's usually the most you know most uh craziest cover of the run and the most cover that most people want and even cheap well i say cheap even 1.8 books like this are expensive compared to other books so next we got one of my favorite covers of all time we got ghost number four this is Ghost Comics number four, Maurice Whitman. This is the suicide cover where the demons are telling her to jump. She don't know, but if you tilt the book the way it's supposed to be, she's already fallen off the ledge. We talked about this book many times because I'm a big Maurice Whitman fan. So we ain't going to talk about this Whitman book much, but I'm going to show you what it looks like one more time because anytime I can get a little Maurice Whitman love out there, I'm going to spread the Maurice Whitman love. We got two more books. <laughs> Maurice Whitman, number one. Ghost Comics. Full moon right there. We got a nice demon. We got another beautiful, innocent girl. We got the swirl effect like it's a dream world going on. Good looking book. Good looking story. And a 5.0. This one is from 1951. Red dress in distress. What more can I say? Maurice Whitman. Classic. Pre-code horror. And our last book in the stack. Ooh, it's a uh, eerie number six from 552. We got this girl wearing a sexy dress out in the graveyard for some reason at night. I don't know why she would do that. But we got a dude. She's holding a lantern for some guy down here that is grave digging. And uh, she's grave dug on the wrong grave. Is that if it makes sense? She's grave dug on the wrong grave because here he is. Now you got to deal with him and his creepy hands. And I don't think red dress in distress. And uh, my man down here, you know, Digger Joe, I don't think they're going to be able to do nothing. So until next time, you've seen some great full moon covers. So like that like button. Uh, 
subscribe today. Leave me some questions. I had some questions on her earlier, but I forgot to get them off and see. Answer any questions because I was busy watching my Titans win today over the Washington Commanders. But uh, I will get back to answering some questions before long. So leave me some questions down there. And we are under 16 minutes. And until the next time, I will see you again. Bunny! Whoa, one more thing. I think we're three, three short of 300 on the subscribes. What the fuck is that even called? Subscribers, we're three away from 300. You see, I really don't care because I don't even know what it's called. But anyway, if you subscribe today, you could be 298, 299, and 300. <laughs> A lot more people watch my shit than subscribe to me, so I don't know what's going on. So subscribe today, become 300, and join the fun. Join the comic family. Become a dope head. Until the next time, I will see you again beneath a blackened sky.